ignore the yellow reactive label on here. But they're probably close to the same, right? I mean, potassium, chloride, potassium chloride is the salt substitute you use instead of sodium chloride. So, so we <laughs> probably just use either one. Sprinkles for fire food. You think so, huh? Maybe. Well, let's find out. Yeah, let's find out. <laughs> and carefully measure quantity of potassium chloride. There we go. And uh, shake it around and see if it dissolves. Did it dissolve? I mean, look, it, it, it's actually, you've got too much. It's, it's clear, okay. So I'm going to add to it some silver nitrate. What's the formula for nitrate? NO3 charge. Minus one, yeah, but negative. I'm going to add a little bit of silver nitrate to it. Again, let's, I'll just hold them up for you, it'll be easier to see. Potassium chloride, we get a precipitate, potassium chloride, we don't. Now that's interesting. <coughs> no, actually, that's boring. <laughs> but this is going to be interesting. <laughs> In order to perform this test, I'm just put this over here and down. Start out, I gave you a little bit of gummy there. In order to perform this test, we have to cut Mr. Gummy in half. <coughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. I know that there's been a lot of discussion in the media lately about the ethics of gummy research. But, you know, and, and actually, I've even been personally threatened for my gummy research by the uh, GLF, you know. Gummy liberation, gummy liberation front. Uh, some people think that no gummy animals should be harmed at all in research. Even gummy worms, you know. <laughs> but for me, you know, as long as humans are suffering from like, you know, GDS, you know, GDS, gummy deficiency syndrome, <laughs> I will continue. I will try to minimize the suffering for our gummy animals, but we must continue on with our gummy. 
That being said, let's cut the sucker in half. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> He's been in my lab for a couple of years. They're pretty tough. <laughs> okay, so let's see. First thing you must do, make sure I get this right. I want to get this off of here. This over here. So I think we're going to call that a positive 
on the gummy test? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I've been joking around a lot here, but there's some serious stuff around the time, and that is nomenclature is important. There's a rule when you're in the lab, when you go to grab a reagent bottle, you read it twice, you read it once when you take it off the shelf, and once before you dispense it into whatever you're doing. I can't tell you the number of times that I've looked at it that second time and gone, ooh. <laughs> and usually it's because when it's a polyatomic ion, I grab the wrong suffix. I got a chloride when I thought I had a chlorate, or a sulfite when I thought I had a sulfate, um, or a perchlorate. I actually almost grabbed a perchlorate once for this demo, which is even more reactive than this. <laughs> Not a good thing. So, um, Nomenclature is important. You have to have it down cold with some flashcard stuff. Know it forward and backward. Know your polyatomic ions with just the groups of atoms without the charge attached so that you can remember what the charge is. Yeah. 